What's coming up for Asher? I just said that, but I was like, let me tell you something. What's not coming up for Asher this season? He's all over the place. He gets involved in everything and when everybody. His um, his character, his interaction with other characters is, is different, is unique. You know, just when I thought I figured him out, I'm, something new about him right now just came out. It's going to be unexpected. So you're saying he'll have surprising the white allegiances? Then? Well, you know, you don't quite. I, I know a lot of people think that they figured who's he with now, but no, that's not the case. Just just wait and see. It starts one way and then it goes somewhere else and then it goes somewhere else and then at the end, I when I read the script, I was like. Oh, how did they do it? I, I, I didn't even see this one coming. It's great, yes. Yeah, so very unexpected. Well, Asher's actually the character I love to hate. He's the I actually think he's the best villain on the show. But when you're talking about allegiances, I always think that Asher is for Asher. He's not really for anybody else. Well, you know what? Uh, it, I don't think it started out that way because, you know, what a lot of fans don't know about Asher, he actually is loyal, but he, didn't have, he never had a chance to prove it. Uh, when it started from the prequel, when he wanted to prove himself as a gladiator and be part of the Brotherhood, it didn't work out. Everybody turned against him. In season uh, one, he wanted to be with Body Otis and be his rival. That didn't work out. So I guess he got to a point that he was like, I'm, I'm to myself now. But he does something this season that, that you're like, oh, that's kind of cool and good, I guess. But that's what I love about Asher because right when you think that everybody's going to be like, oh, he's that way, he turns and does something and everybody ends up falling in love and understanding. He really connects with the people, which I really like.